So in this challenge, you were asked to calculate the area of a given rectangle. And to do so, you were asked to create two variables of type double, double height and double width. And well, these two values should represent the height and the width of the rectangle. So let's first of all print some nice message to the user, printf specifying him to to enter the height and the width of this rectangle. So for example, let's use enter height, all right. And also we'll use something like that, printf enter width, width. There you go. Now we should also add a functionality to read from the prompt from this console application the actual values for the height and the width. And this can be done using the scanf function. So scanf percentage lf, all right, we are using percentage lf for double variables and we'll place this value inside of height variable. So please note that we don't use here percentage %d, which is used for integers, or percentage %f, that is used for float variables. This variable is of type double. All right, so also we'll add something like that, scanf, pretty much the same, uh, percentage %f to place the value that we read from our prompt to the variable width semicolon at the end. Very good. So at this point, we should already have our two values that represent uh, the rectangles uh, height and width. And now all that remains is simply to create another variable, another double variable and call this variable area. This variable should hold the result of multiplying height and width to represent the area of this rectangle. So height multiplied by width semicolon. And now we should just print the result to the screen as we were asked in the exercise in the challenge itself. So printf the area of this rectangle, rectangle equals to percentage lf, all right, percentage lf because we use double type variable. And here we will just specify area. So now let's save it and build and run this program. And there you go, you can see your console application. And here is your first message. You use the printf command to display this text on this, uh, on this screen, so enter height. And here is a prompt. The scanf is waiting for you to insert some floating point uh, long number. So let's use something simple like that, 4.2. And there you go for the second message, enter with. Let's go with something like 5.7. And once we hit the enter button, this value, this 5.7 is going to be placed inside of this variable, inside of width, the same way as it was done using this height, well, where we just specified 4.2, it was placed inside of this variable. So let's hit the enter button. And there you go, you can see the actual message displayed here, the area of this rectangle equals to 23.94000. We can limit it. You, we, we've seen it uh, in the previous section. We can limit it to just uh, two numbers, two digits after the decimal point. So one last thing I want to add here is to use a new line between this uh, information, this area of this rectangle in, and separate it a little bit of this default uh, message that it won't confuse you guys. So let's just add a backslash n here and save, build and run it once again. And let's do something like that, 3.2, 5.4. And there you go, you can see the whole separation and you can see uh, uh, this line representing all the information that you need. So to summarize everything up, we simply developed a program that we can ship to different users. This program is intended to be used by people who just want to find the area for a given rectangle that they have. So they have the values for the height and the width, and they want to find out what is the area of this rectangle. Instead of I don't know, instead of just using a calculator, they just want to use your awesome program. And that's exactly what you provide, what your program provides. And although it's a simple program, it's also a start and you can see, you can see how we are moving forward, how we are getting better uh, every day and every section and every video and every challenge. So I hope you can also see